simple Windows application with database transaction. In this lesson, we're going to discuss how to create a Windows application and how to perform the database transaction. Before entering into the application, first I would like to tell you what are all the actions that we're going to accomplish in our application. This is the application to perform the transactions, such as login verification, inserting new items into the database, and deleting data from the database, and displaying data through data grid view. Let's start designing our application. Open a Visual Studio .NET 2008 Windows application. Go to Solution Explorer. In this application, we have three forms. Double-click Form 1. Here we have two text box controls to enter name and password. The values, which we are going to enter in both the text boxes, will be compared with database values. If the match is found, it will display Form 2. So, double-click Form 2. See, Form 2 contains three text box controls for entering item number, item name, and price. And we have three button controls, and they are named Logout, Submit, and Stock Details, respectively. Now, if you click the Log Out button, it will close Form 2 and display the login page. If you click the Submit button, it will insert the new rows into database table. And if you click Stock Details button, it will display Form 3 with product details. So, double-click Form 3. Form 3 contains data grid view control. Using this control, we're going to display all the details from the product table. Well, now we'll see how to create database and tables for inventory system. Go to Start and click All Programs. Click Microsoft SQL Server 2005 and SQL Server Management Studio. It will open a Connect to Server window. Enter the required information and click Connect. It will open an SQL Server Management Studio IDE with Object Explorer and Summary. Right-click on Databases folder and then click New Database. Give a name for your database. Now click the Tables icon. It contains a list of default system tables in the database. Now right-click on the Table window and click New Table. Here we're going to add fields namely Item Number, Item Name and Price. See, here we have created one more table called Login, which contains the fields Name and Password. Alright, move to Application. Double-click the Login button. And here we're going to start our first database transaction. We must first import SQL Client namespace in the top of the code window. Create an object for SQL connection to establish the database connection. Mention your server name and database name. Simple Windows application with database transaction, part 2. Here we use select SQL query to fetch the values from login table. Text box 1 contains name and text box 2 contains password. Now you know quite well about execute reader object because we already discussed about it. re.hasRows used to get a value that indicates whether the SQL data reader contains one or more rows. If the condition is true, the control will go into block 1 and execute the statements. These are the code used to hide the form 1 and display form 2. Otherwise, control will move to block 2 and display the message invalid username and password. Right, click form 2. Double-click the Log Out button to move to Code Window. This is the code used to hide Form 2 and open the Login form when you click the Log Out button. Now, double-click the Submit button. Add this coding and see the logic. These are the codes used to store new product details into the table Products. Well then, Press Shift in F7 to go to design mode. 
double click stock details button to go to button click event. Add this coding and see the logic. Using these statements we can hide the form 2 and show the stock details in form 3. Now click form 3. Double click the form window to move to form 3 load event. Here are the select SQL query used to retrieve the data from database table. We've already discussed about binding data into data grid view control. Now hopefully you understood the coding, what I've given. Now let's run our project. Just enter the name and password. Then click the submit button. It will show you form 2. Give all the entries. and then press submit. It will display the message that record inserted successfully. Now if you click stock details button, it will show you all the records available in products table. Now I hope this simple application has given you a clearer picture for you to create .NET Windows applications.